Hey and welcome to Everything Electrical Engineering. In today's video we will explain the theoretical and practical limit of a lossless transmission line before calculating and plotting in MATLAB. I will expand upon the parameters for a lossless line that I covered in a previous video where I calculated the transmission line sending in quantities, voltage regulation, line wavelength and beta. Please check out my other videos on transmission line including surge impedance loading where I explain the lossless line in more detail. Please see the description below and don't forget to subscribe and energize that notification icon so you don't miss another video. Power capability of a transmission line is limited by the thermal loading and stability limit. An increase in conductor temperature caused by real power loss can stretch the conductors and increase the sag between transmission line towers, consequently reducing the clearing distance. This is more onerous at high temperatures, which is likely to result in irreversible stretching of the lines. The thermal limit is specified by the current carrying capacity and is available from the manufacturer's data. If we consider the power delivered to a load centre by a lossless line, the maximum power the line can deliver is known as the theoretical limit. The real power transfer over the transmission line is given by the theoretical limit, the maximum power that can be transmitted in a steady state without compromising the stability of the line occurs when the angular displacement is equal to 90 degrees. In reality, sudden changes in the power system load, generation or fault need to be considered here. Practical line operations where the angular displacement would be between 30 and 45 degrees, ensure an adequate margin of stability. If we consider the example of two power stations connected by a transmission line of arbitrary length, both plants have synchronous machines. If one of the machine's angular displacement exceeds 90 degrees, it will likely cause this generator to lose synchronism and risk the stability of the line. In a previous video for lossless lines, I calculated the send and end voltage along with surge impedance and beta. They will be required here for these calculations. The theoretical limit of the transmission line is equal to 3066.25 megawatts. Now let's check the practical line limit when the line is loaded to an angular displacement of 30 degrees. Practical power transfer is equal to 1533.25 megawatts. I will now use MATLAB to verify these results. The thermal limit usually determines the max power flow for short to medium length lines. For long lines, it is usually the practical limit. This can be observed here. In a previous video on surge impedance loading, I mentioned SIL as a good comparison for different conditions. Therefore, the practical and theoretical limit are graphed as per unit of SIL. To verify the exact values for the theoretical limit, I'll zoom in at the distance of the line. In this example, a line length of 350 km was used. This is equal to 3.4836 times the SIL and is equal to 3066.24 megawatts. Again, I'll zoom in. The practical line limit is equal to 1.742 times the SIL, and this is equal to 1533.29 megawatts. I've left links in the description so you can check out related videos that I've referenced here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out some of the other videos. If you felt like you got any value from this, please like, comment and share.